Imagination. Inspiration. Macro World. Here's your host, Ray Scott. Hi and welcome. This is Macro World on the Visual Art Photography channel. That's a bit of a change for you. Uh, normally, my Macro World videos are on my Macro World channel, but I've decided to consolidate and simplify just a little bit. So, all of my ma future Macro World videos will be on this channel under the Macro World playlist banner. Now, all of my videos that are currently on Macro World will eventually be moving over to the Macro World playlist on this Visual Art Photography channel. But for now, they remain there, so if you need them, they're over there. And of course, here we have a ton of uh, macro videos. They're already there, uh, so you can use those as well. All right, so Macro World on Visual Art Photography. Today, we're going to be attempting to come up with an image that would be appropriate for a kitchen. If you wanted to print an image for a kitchen, what would be better than food? All right. Now you can use all kinds of different things, but today's project, we're just going to use three different pieces of fruit. It should be interesting, so let's dig in. Here's the setup. You have your three pieces of fruit, your lime, lemon, and orange slice stacked on top of each other. They are cut imperfectly. It's just the way I was rolling with it. And they're on a piece of white paper. Now, preferably, you'd be having something like a white shelf or a white counter, something that doesn't absorb the moisture from the fruit because it causes the paper to buckle a little bit. So you may have to work a little more quickly. But it does prove that you can have success with something as simple as uh, a few slices of uh, paper on top of each other. All right? So that's the setup for the first shot. So you've seen the setup. You know what's going on and how to sort of put it together, at least for this particular uh, version of it. Now, right off the top, there were several things that I was trying to accomplish. One, I wanted my images to be high key, meaning I wanted them to be overexposed and I'm not going to say blown out, but I wanted everything to be very bright and I wanted my whites to be pretty white. I also wanted to show color. I wanted the contrast between the three different types of fruit. I was looking for texture. That was really, really important to me, was to have a, a sense of feel where you could almost, you wanted to reach in and, and feel those particular slices of fruit. And I also wanted to show shape. Now, on a different day, I may have felt completely differently about the shape of things. I may have wanted those slices to be perfect, uniform, for the three slices to be exactly the same in, 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 in width and everything like that. But on this particular day, I didn't feel like that. I wanted to have them just kind of sliced haphazardly, and this is what I came up with. All right, so for the first shot, again, you saw the setup, and this is what you're getting. You're, you're moving in close, and, and you've definitely got the texture, and you've definitely got the color, and it is high key. All right, next one. I pulled back a little bit, turned the slices around a little bit to have a little bit of a different shape, and ended up with this. And it's very high key. You can see that it's very, very bright, and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that, for my wall in the kitchen, something that was a little bit abstract, because again, if you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know that I love abstract photography. I like when you're not quite sure what you're looking at right away, and then you can sort of identify it after, after kind of looking at it for a little bit longer. This is the high-tech setup. Uh, that we're looking at right now as we've stacked the fruit on top of each other, uh, three different slices. Um, okay, you've got a piece of white paper, that's your backdrop, draped down, being held by some books, and there's even a plate on top to add a little more weight to this high-tech setup. Hey, listen, you, you work with what you have, and this is what I had, and it works. Again, you've seen the setup for this kind of thing, and, and you're stacking the fruit on top of each other. These are, uh, again, three different types of slices, a little bit thicker. Um, and, and look at that. You, you can do anything you want. Anything at all. It's all high key. Look at that. It's all high key photography. White background. I'm not going to say it's stark. But you get, the, you get the idea. There's no interference with what's going on in the back. Your, your attention definitely has to be on, on the fruit. Now, you may want 
a different thing completely. You may want a completely different approach. You may want it to be underexposed. You may want a completely different background. That's totally up to you. That's the beauty of photography. Or you move in really, really close, really close. But again, the thing that I wanted to show through all of this was the texture, which look, look at that lime, look at the green. You, you just, you wanna, you could just touch it, right? And then of course you've got the color too. Or, you know, have some fun, start stacking things up and having some things in focus and some things out of focus, but you still know what's going on. But it's still kind of abstract. It's like, what is that? Oh, okay, that's what it is. Here, very clear what it is, really. Less abstract, you know right away what's going on here. You've got an orange lemon and lime slice, right? And they're kind of like wheels almost, and they're there. But there is no interference from anything else. There's nothing in the background to distract from what you're trying to show right here. Whimsical. <laughs> that uh, lime slice slid off a couple of times too, by the way. It sort of fell apart. Uh, I got it together finally. By the way, using studio lighting on either side of this setup uh, for some even illumination. Not too many shadows involved for these high key shots. Straight down, paper underneath, a different look. A, a little more conventional and works for me a little bit better um, actually when you're a little closer up. You can move things around a little bit. You can see the uh, the moisture, eh? You can just feel the uh, you can feel the the juice from this fruit. This is what I ended up really actually liking the best. It was just and and that's totally personal. And when you go through your routine of uh, when your project, you're going to come up with something completely different than this, I'm sure, and you're going to like that. But this is what I ended up actually liking the most for what I was trying to do in terms of putting something up. Uh, on the wall, but I, there were a couple actually before that that I liked that I had stacked with the white background. I kind of like those two, so I'm kind of waffling between two or three different uh, images. This one, basically the same thing, but with the seed in the lemon. And that's there so that your eye has something to play with. It's like it's playing with your mind a little bit because you have the slices, but now you have the seed. See, so you, you go back and Okay, it's very uniform kind of, and then there's that. I'm not even sure I like that, but it definitely catches your eye. Just to give you a quick idea of what things might look like on a different kind of background, this was a black background, and here's the result. There's a black background. Eh, not what I was looking for. I, I kind of like the white backgrounds, the high key effect, but hey, listen, you can go a million different ways, so it'll be interesting to see what you do with it. So there you have it, my treatment on what you can do with three pieces of fruit in an abstract kind of way for your kitchen right here on MacroWolf. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you to shoot small but think big.